Science 3, Quarter 3, Week 4 For today, we are going to tackle light and heat energy. Learning competency with code. The learners should be able to describe the uses of light, sound, heat, and electricity. Light is a form of energy. It helps us to see the beauty of God's creation. The sun is the Earth's primary source of heat and light. Without the sun, no life can exist. The sun keeps us warm and let us see in the dark. Plants need light in order to make its own food. Without light, plants will die. And if there are no plants, animals will also die. Now, I want you to think about the things that you do. Do you think you will enjoy a day without any kind of light? What do you think? Light has many uses to people, animals, and plants. People and animals are able to see things because of light. It allows you to read, play, and go to many places. Some materials give off their own light. They are called luminous materials examples of luminous materials are the stars lightning flashlights light bulbs and burning materials some objects do not produce their own light they are called non-luminous materials Examples of these are books, pencil, toys, clothes, and bugs. They do not produce their own light. The moonlight we see at night is part of the sunlight reflected from the surface of the moon. The stars also light up the sky at night. Some stars provide a very small amount of light because they are far away from us. Have you seen fireflies and glowworms? 
fireflies and glowworms create their own light. Light may also come from artificial sources. This kind of light is made by humans. These are the flashlights, electric lights, and oil lamps. These things can produce light with the use of fuel, batteries, and electricity. Although sunlight has many good effects on living things, we should use light safely and wisely. Heat is also a form of energy. The sun is our most important source of heat. Burning fuels give heat. Natural gas, oil, wax, charcoal, and wood, when burned, produce heat. There is heat from deep inside the earth. Heat from inside the earth comes up when a volcano erupts. Can you name an example of volcano? Very good. Heat energy is useful. The heat from the sun dries our clothes. Heat from burning fuels Cook food too. Can you give me some importance of heat to humans? Very good. What can you see in the picture? It is important to be careful in handling hot objects. We can get burned by objects that produce heat and objects that are hot. That is why it is important to use pot holder when holding hot objects. We must be careful with heat energy. Uncontrolled heat energy may cause fire and even deaths. What are the things that you do to protect yourself from sun's heat? The following are the different ways to protect yourself to sun's heat. First, Use long sleeves clothes when working under the sun to avoid too much exposure to sun's rays. Second, use hat, an umbrella, or any cover for the head to protect you from the sun's rays. Number three, use sunglasses when you stay under the sun. They can protect your eyes from the sun's heat and radiation. Remember to avoid looking directly to the sun. Number four, the sun's heat and the warm air make us perspire a lot. Too much perspiration can make us lose much water. This may lead to dehydration, which often results from overexposure to the sun. To avoid this, you must drink plenty of water. Avoid peak sun hours. You should stay at home and you should not go outside when it is peak sun hours. Park your car sensibly. You may park your car in a cool place or under the tree. Try home remedies to keep your body strong and hydrated. Keep yourself hydrated by drinking lots of water and dress for the season you may wear sando or sleeveless or any comfortable clothes trivia time 
Do you know what is this? Very good. This is an aurora. An aurora, sometimes referred to as polar lights or aurora polaris, northern lights, aurora borealis, or southern lights, or aurora australis, is a natural light display in the Earth's sky, predominantly seen in a high latitude region around the Arctic and Antarctic. The northern lights are always present, but winter is usually the best time to see them due to lower levels of light pollution and the clear, crisp air. September, October, March, and April are some of the best months to view the Aurora Borealis. The lights are known to be brighter and more active for up to two days after sunspot activity is at its highest. The sun is 93 million miles away, but its effect extends far beyond its visible surface. Great storms on the sun send gusts of charged solar particles hurtling across space. If Earth is in the path of the particle stream, our planet's magnetic field and atmosphere react. When the charged particles from the sun strike atoms and molecules in Earth's atmosphere, they excite those atoms, causing them to light up. What does it mean for an atom to be excited? Atoms consist of a central nucleus and a surrounding cloud of electrons encircling the nucleus in an orbit. When charged particles from the sun strike atoms in Earth, atmosphere, electrons move to higher energy orbits further away from the nucleus. Then, when an electron moves back to a lower energy orbit, it releases a particle of light or photon. What happens in aurora is similar to what happens in the neon lights we see on many business signs. Electricity is used to excite the atoms in the neon glass within the glass tubes of neon sign. That's why these signs give off their brilliant colors. The aurora works on the same principle, but at a far more vast scale. The aurora often appears as curtain of lights, but they can also be arcs or spirals, often following lines of force in Earth's magnetic field. Moons are green in color, but sometimes you'll see a hint of pink, and strong displays might also have red, violet, and white colors. The lights typically are seen in the far north, the nations bordering the Arctic Ocean, Canada, and Alaska, Iceland, Greenland, and Russia. But strong displays of the lights can extend down into more southerly latitudes in the United States. And of course, the lights have a counterpart at Earth's south polar regions. Now let's have a practice activity. I want you to classify whether the source of light is natural or artificial. Group the objects accordingly. Practice activity 2. I want you to choose the objects that give off heat. Activity 1. Think it over. Tell if the objects produce light, heat, sound, 
and or electricity? Write your answer on the space provided. Number 1. Bulb Tell if the object produced light, heat, sound, or electricity. Two, firefly. Three, sun. Four, windmill. Five fireworks. Activity two Connect Me. Draw a line to connect the object with its use. Number one sunlight, two traffic lights, three lighthouse, four colorful lights, and five fire.